particular storyline caught my eye and I've been following it through but I couldn't help myself but to talk about it today so we're gonna talk about it today April Jones and Lil Fizz are now together yes exactly they're now together <laughs> was it even worth it sis like you're trying to tell me that you couldn't find nobody else in America, in LA, in Atlanta, in Miami, in Florida that was so good looking to get with. Why is it that it had to be his co-worker, his bandmate, his friend at some point? He was so busy worrying about Omarion when Omarion was just too busy meditating. He wanted to be spiteful, he wanted to hurt him. This is one of the prime examples to why you should be so careful who you have around in your circle because people are evil people are grimy we love Benny oh hello cutie hey y'all what's up welcome back to my channel as you go fast and i hope you guys are doing well i hope you guys are having a blessed day i hope you guys have had a blessed weekend normally i'll be doing videos on motivation inspiration lifestyle vlogs but today we're going to be doing something different on my channel something that i don't usually do um you know i try as much as i can not to do videos on um reality shows and reality stars and celebrities and all that because I try as much as I can to watch all my reality shows and in my American shows like during my spare time after I come back from work um, in the weekend but this particular reality show this particular storyline caught my eye and I've been following it through but I couldn't help myself but to talk about it today so we're gonna talk about it today because people be doing some grimy grimy behavior and they don't get called out for it they don't get called out for it. Even though <laughs> this particular storyline is all over the blogs, all over social media, people are calling them out for it. And it's about time because these types of behaviors need to stop. So today I'm going to be talking about love and hip hop, Hollywood. And the particular storyline that I'm going to be focusing on is the one with April Jones and Lil Fizz. For those who don't know who April Jones and Lil Fizz is, April Jones is the baby mama to Omarion who's the R&B artist and who used to be the ex bandmate in B2K who also Lil Fizz was in the group of B2K they both were bandmates okay back in the day when they were teenagers and they recently did um, the Millennium Reunion Tour together as well. When um, Omarion and April Jones were together, Omarion did do season one and season two to Love and Hip Hop Hollywood. Uh, but Omarion left the show after that, probably because he couldn't deal with the rubbish and the, all the shenanigans. When Omarion was on the show, Lil Fizz and Omarion did do scenes together on Love and Hip Hop. And like... For us viewers, it just seemed that they were so cool, they still had a friendship even, you know, through the history with B2K and they were like boys, they were like brothers. Lil Fizz is claiming that they were never friends, they were never brothers, they just had a working relationship. Well, that's weird. Lil Fizz did an interview a few years back with Vlad TV and he said that Omarion was his boy and they were cool. But now he's saying that they were never cool and they just had a working relationship. Isn't that weird? When Omaria and April Jones were together, when we first got introduced to April Jones on Love and Hip Hop season one, I literally loved April. She was like my favorite cast on the show. Like I literally loved her, I loved her personality. She just seemed like she was so drama free and she was all about just her and Omarion and just they were just so cute and she just seemed so like cool and all about supporting her man and his music career even when her and her Omarion broke up like I still liked her like she was just like working on herself trying to like you know move on from her breakup with Omarion like I even followed her through Instagram with her fitness and you know looking after herself and you know empowering other women and then she started doing some grimy behaviors started being messy and Ugh, I was just like, who's this? Like, <laughs> hunty, the audacity as well. I was 
sometimes you're like, oh, I'm not liking this this new April. Like, I'm not liking it. Or was it always that April? We just didn't know about it. Hunty, Omarion and April have actually got two kids together as well. Just making it clear, they actually have two beautiful kids, a son and a daughter, beautiful kids. So fast forward to the time, fast forward to a few years later, Omarion's left the show. Uh, now there's a, a huge storyline. April Jones, which is the baby mama to Omarion, who was bandmates with Omarion back in the day on B2K, April Jones and Lil Fizz are now together. Yes, exactly. They're now together. <laughs> Was it even worth it, sis? The storyline on Love and Hip Hop started off as Lil Fizz and April Jones are just best friends and they're just friends. And, you know, Lil Fizz literally is always there for her and the kids because, you know, she hasn't got anyone and he has been there for her throughout the. Um, the low times and the times when she needed someone the most and blah 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 and um, they were just telling everyone they were just best friends they're just best friends smashing each other they don't care about anybody's feelings they don't care about the people that they're gonna hurt they just they're just doing it they're just doing it they have no care in the world and it just amazes me how like people can stoop that low for what like you're trying to tell me that you couldn't find nobody else in America, in LA, in Atlanta, in Miami, in Florida that was so good looking, that was tall, that was cute to get with. Why is it that it had to be his co-worker, his bandmate, his friend at some point? I don't care what nobody says. Those two, Omarion and uh, Lil Fizz, they were best friends at some point. They've known each other since they were 15 years old. They've worked together. They've been together, like, at some point 24-7, okay? They've made a lot of success in their music career. I don't understand why Lil Fizz will do something like that. Maybe because he's so messed up in the head and he's got issues of his own and he's taken it out on Omarion when really he should be working on it himself. But I feel like the reason why Lil Fizz did that is because maybe because he's so in his feelings with the whole history with B2K and all of that drama. Well, my G, you could have just sat Omarion down and spoken about that, about all of the drama, but clearly he wanted to take it out on him. He wanted to be spiteful. He wanted to hurt him. And he ended up getting with his baby mum, April Jones. Omarion has finally spoken up. He's finally spoken up, but he's he kept it very classy and he kept it very mature because at the end of the day, he's got kids with April and he could have literally dragged that woman, but he chose not to because he's got kids with her. I just don't understand why Lil Fizz couldn't just speak to Omarion about all the issues and all the history that they had with B2K. Like, why don't you just speak about that? And then on top of that, you're throwing shade at him, you're throwing shots at him, talking about, oh, he's, um, he, he doesn't even have any hits. First and foremost, let's make it very clear. Omarion is not the king of R&B, but he has some hits. When he st first started off his solo career, oh, Icebox, I'm trying to girlfriend with Bow Wow, Let Me Hold You with Bow Wow, all those are hits, okay? Speeding, okay? Post to Be, okay, with Chris Brown, that song. I'm Up, um, Open Up, Distant, like, this guy has so many hits, like, Lil Fizz can, cannot even pass through what he's got. Omarion embraces the African culture that he even started introducing it in his music. He did uh, a song called Distance, that like, two years back. He even uh, collabed with Tiwa Savage, okay? He even collabed with Diamond Platinum, African Beauty. So, what are you trying to say, Lil Fizz? Like, your music, your solo music career has flopped so badly that you have the audacity to be talking crap about Omarion's solo career when... Fair enough, right now he's probably not making hits, but Omarion does have hits. His music was on the charts, and he sold a lot of copies, okay? And his album, I think the first one or the second one, the solo ones, 
it did well. So what are you talking about, Lil Fizz? They want to get a rise out of him so they can have another storyline. It's not going to work like that. You're so bored, you're so busy worrying about Omarion when Omarion's just too busy meditating. Like, I can't even believe April like downgraded like that. Like, sis, here's my thing as well. We don't know what happened between April and Omarion when they were together in their relationship. We don't know what happened behind closed doors. Yeah, we don't know that. But as far as I'm concerned, April is showing her character to be very spiteful very grimy like it's just sis you need to do better you've got kids they're gonna look they look up to you so for you to be doing some grimy behavior like that like what kind of example are you setting for other women out there what kind of example are you setting for your kids like you out here some do some grimy behavior like in front of your kids as well like and i don't care what anybody says they they might have not been friends, but they worked together for years, for decades, okay? They made success in their music career. You can't tell me, like, they were never friends at some point. They've, been, they've known each other since they were 15 years old. This is one of the prime examples to why you should be so careful who you have around in your circle. You might have such a strong bond with your friends, with your girls, you know, with your bro. And then the next minute, they're doing some grimy behavior just like that gotta be careful who you surround yourself with because people are evil people are grimy first and foremost the guy does not care Amarion does not care be careful who you call your bro and your sis as well this is why I literally have not much friends anymore like because people are evil you could be so cool with someone you could have such a strong bond with someone you could be so close with someone you bring them around your family, you call them your sis, your bro. Ugh, it's funny because April did a whole hour interview with Nick Cannon trying to justify herself, talking about they were never friends, they never got along. Yeah, they never got along, they were never friends, there was so much history, which is why you should have not crossed that boundary, like, you should have not crossed that limit, like, these two have so much history and now you've added the fuel to the fire. And I'm not saying that Omarion is so perfect and, you know, he's such an angel. Because we don't know what happened behind closed doors. You don't go there. You do not go there. That's just messy. Grimy. Dirty. Trifling. Omarion was like, I have no feelings towards the situation. If they're happy, they're happy. As long as they're happy with their so-called happiness, I'm cool with it. Like, just keep it moving. You're going to protect your peace. You gotta protect your sanity, you gotta protect your energy because people are trifling. Evil! Ha! <laughs> Messy. But, anyways, y'all, what do you think about this storyline? What do you think about this season of Love and Hip Hop? Like, honestly, like, literally, it was so trashy, trifling. Like, what kind of example are you setting for other women out there? You're talking about women empowerment. Like, I literally was rooting for April, man. I was rooting for her. Anyways, y'all, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And I shall see you guys in my next video. Bye! Oh my god, guys, I forgot to mention, y'all, if you guys want to know, the history to B2K, why they broke up. There's a whole documentary on YouTube right now. Like literally I watched part one and part two to the documentary of the history of B2K and why they broke up. Like proper detail, proper, proper detail. So if y'all want to know the detail to it, why they broke up and everything like that, listen, go to Impressive youtube channel type in impressive on youtube and you scroll down and you see b2k part one and part two the history a whole documentary i'm telling you you guys do not want to miss it if y'all loved b2k y'all um were interested in b2k and everything like that go to impressive youtube channel i'm telling you you won't be disappointed i was actually like oh this is interesting see oh my god my makeup is so cute today <laughs> anyways y'all <yeah>, bye <laughs>